Here are all the cards my dad keeps in his wallet. The wallet he carries is a pretty ratty wallet. It's very gross. It's coming all apart. I don't even know if you could call it a wallet. He's probably had this since I was a kid. Here's what the inside looks like. It's just a regular bifold wallet. You got an extra flap to keep more cards, a place for your ID, some more card storage back here, and a little coin pouch, which he should not be carrying in 2023. And then a crap ton of dollar bills. But today, with the help of Esther, the sponsor of this video, we're gonna bring his wallet to the modern age, maybe even the future. But before we get into that, let's go over what's in my dad's wallet. First card he has in here is apparently this Home Depot store credit. If there's one store my dad loves more than anything, it's gotta be Home Depot. I really don't know how he gets these things, maybe he's applied for a rebate or something? But I wouldn't know. But basically it's the same as a gift card, almost as good as cash. Next card in his wallet he really keeps him full is his BJ membership card. My dad is crazy when it comes to wholesale clubs. He has BJ, Sam's Club, Costco, basically the main three. I don't know why he has all three because I think he's losing money by paying all the annual memberships. If that makes him happy then alright. Next card he has in his wallet is the Home Depot credit card. From my understanding, this card only gives you financing and the ability to return things up to a year. I think he got this card during the shutdown, so it was probably helpful for him to fund the projects he was doing during that time. I wish still that Home Depot would have a card for consumers that they could earn points on. The next card he has is a Home Depot gift card. And like I said, he loves Home Depot. I don't know how he got it. Maybe it was from a return. I honestly don't know how he gets these things. And the last card in the front pockets is his Ohio driver's license. And you know why he has to keep it on him. And then in the back credit card slots, he has his health insurance card. So if anything happens, he has it. And he's not really a tech enthusiast, so definitely I couldn't convince him to use the app. But hey, he has it on him. The card after that is a gift card I actually got him during Christmas. It's a pretty cool Christmas gift because if he didn't want to use it at Lowe's, which I was intending it for, he could use it at Red Lobster's, Ulta, Chili's, P.F. Chang's, Macy's. Sometimes he does shop at Macy's, so that's pretty cool. The next card he keeps in his wallet is a Restaurant Depot card. Pretty sure it's just a business card though. He likes shopping here sometimes. He actually works as a sushi chef. So usually the restaurant will reimburse him for the stuff he needs to buy for the restaurant. And usually they send him out to go get it. And it's pretty cool inside. I've been in one of them. And it's basically just like an Ikea just for restaurant supplies. And the next card he keeps in his wallet is his Sam's Club Plus membership credit card. And like I said, he's pretty crazy about the Sam's Club, Costco, and BJ's. But specifically out of all three, he likes to shop at Sam's Club just because it's closest to his house. And the Sam's Club credit card isn't bad. You already get 2% back as a Plus member and 3% back extra if you use the credit card. But if you're only a club member, then you only get 1% back. So it might pay to be a Plus member instead of a regular club member. But not only that, you'll also get 5% back on gas up to the first 6 thousand dollars and then three percent back on dining and one percent back on everything else and there's no annual fee and it doubles like your membership card so so far out of all the cards he has in this wallet the sam's club card is probably the best card so far Next card he has in his wallet is the Costco Visa card. He's basically completed the wholesale trifecta, if there is such a thing. Now this credit card is the exact same credit card I have personally. I like it, you get 4% back on gas and EV charging, which if you're needing to drive around isn't bad. 3% back on restaurants and 3% back on travel. 2% back on anything Costco and Costco.com and 1% back on everything else. It also doubles as your membership card just like the Sam's Club card, so you only need to take one card out with you with no annual fee. However, I don't understand why he has both cards because the categories overlap quite a bit like the gas multiplier the restaurant multiplier the only thing that doesn't overlap is the two percent back at costco and the three percent back at sam's club i don't know i think he would have been better off with a two percent visa card so he can use them freely at sam's club costco and bj's and still get the most back on his purchase and the card after that is his Lowe's Advantage card. And you couldn't tell by now, this is definitely dad's wallet. Wholesale credit cards and memberships, home improvement credit cards. But I gotta say, out of the Home Depot and Lowe's credit card, the Lowe's credit card is gonna be the better option. For the Lowe's Advantage credit card, you have the option of special financing up to 6 months, or fixed monthly payments up to 84 months. But if you don't need financing, you'll get 5% back on everything that qualifies at Lowe's, all for no annual fee. So since he shops at Lowe's a lot, I could definitely see him taking advantage of this card. Because I think the only other card that can match that benefit is the US Shopper Rewards card. But that card comes with a $95 annual fee and limit caps. So for someone like my dad who isn't in the contractor business or home improvement business, the US Shopper cards probably wouldn't bring him enough value to justify that $95 annual fee.
And the last credit card he has in his wallet is the Kohl's credit card. And honestly, I don't understand why he even has this card. I've never seen him shop at Kohl's. Plus the card is kind of trash. From my understanding, when you shop at Kohl's, you get 5% back in Kohl's cash, which you know is the most valuable currency. But now with the Kohl's credit card, you can earn 50% more in rewards. You'll get 7.5% back in Kohl's cash instead of 5% back. And then there's a card here in this little secret pocket, which apparently is some business card he picked up that makes rice balls. My dad, whenever he goes to a Japanese restaurant he finds it interesting, he'll go and pick up these business cards. I don't know what he does with them. I don't know if he checks the website or anything. I, yeah, I just don't really know. Now that was all the cards in his wallet, which is quite a bit, but he has some other things too. Like in the back cash pocket, he just has a bunch of singles and one $10 bill. Kind of weird. And in the pocket in front of that one, he has more cash, but it's only $2 bills, plus some 20s in the back. It's almost like Anthony Venture went into my dad's wallet, or maybe Anthony Venture is my dad. Why does he have all these $2 bills? Honestly though, he probably has them because he thinks they're rare or something. But what I don't understand, if he thinks it's rare, why does he keep it in his wallet? But whatever, why do you even keep cash in the first place? And then the last thing in his wallet is just a bunch of coins. And this is the reason why I hated carrying cash. Coins are so heavy, they're so clunky, they make a lot of noise. And I'm sort of going to force my dad to get rid of his coins when we upgrade to the Esther wallet. And here's the Esther wallet. Just going to open it up real quick. And then the leather is protected by this paper. This wallet Esther sent to me is the parliament wallet in this classic brown, which me personally, I think is the best color. And as you can tell, my dad definitely needed an upgrade. Like I said, I don't even know how his wallet is keeping together. Now all he has to do is hit this button, he'll have immediate access and he can see every single card he has. It's a pretty nice wallet. It's not as soft as the Fortuna wallet, it's kind of stiffer. It's still that pretty nice quality with that nice stitching. And of course, as you've seen in my other what's in my wallet, there's also a back pocket you want to add a tracker or another card. And no matter where you are in the wallet, you have access to that trigger button. And when you open it up, two more slots along with a money clip. But now let's just go ahead and put everything that was in his old wallet into the sleek new Esther Parliament wallet. So for the cash, we're just going to roll it up and then put it into the money clip. It's a little bit bulky, but hopefully he doesn't carry this much cash on him. And then I'm going to put the driver's license on the side pocket along with his health insurance card next to it. With of course the driver's license on top since he'll probably need to access that more often. And in the back pocket i'm gonna put the restaurant depot card the business card and the gift card and then next i'm gonna put his store credit his home depot gift card and his bj membership card onto the inside flap and then he still has enough room to put his cards in the middle slot his kohl's his lowe's his sam's club costco and home depot credit card it is a tighter fit with the embossed credit cards so since i think he really doesn't go to kohl's i'm just gonna take this card out and it's still a little bit bulky so i'm gonna reduce the cash probably take away all the two dollar bills and honestly you just probably keep the singles and just slide it back in there and it folds up nicely. So if he wants access to his cards, all he has to do is hit this button and all his cards will come out. Definitely an improvement compared to his older wallet. It's definitely a lot slimmer too. It probably fits in his pocket a lot easier. And yeah, those were all the cards he has in his wallet. And if you want to pick up a wallet for yourself, use code Calby to get an extra 5% off. And if you want to be entered in a giveaway, just subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. And the winner will be announced in one week. And I'll see you later.